Everyone knows somebody who should watch Kitchen Independence with David Doc Robertson Saturday mornings at 10:30 on KPSE My TV. Oh, you caught me. Hi. It's the weekend and you want something special for breakfast. What do you do? Hello and welcome to Kitchen Independence. I'm going to answer that question for you right now. The thing to do is French toast. And if you've been watching, you know that I don't do anything the hard way. I'm going to make French toast look like one of the easiest dishes that there is. Just like the dish I have right in front of me. And I made this earlier before I started to take this segment. I uh, also added uh, fried apples and if you're the kind of person that just loves to have meat I added a little bit of ham. Now I'm going to give this a taste and see how it came out. Let's see here. Mm, see how good that looks? Mm, wow. That is good. I'm going to show you how I prepared this meal in the demonstration. So we're going to go back in time and you guys can see how I came up with this French toast, fried apple, and ham breakfast. I'm starting with the fried apples. Okay? Now I need to get this done before he finishes eating. This recipe, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to admit right here, this is the first time I've ever tried this recipe. And, but he doesn't know that. Alright? So we're going to sneak this one in and see if we can get this done. First thing I'm going to do is get enough butter into the pan. And you know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to slice enough butter for both pans, actually. One for the fried apples and one for the French toast. So let's get that that one in there and then for the French toast I think I need to do about twice that much now that was about a tablespoon of butter okay I'm going to do two tablespoons for the French toast all right start that butter melting. So I'm going to put this on a low fire okay, while I slice these apples. Now the recipe calls for, in addition to butter and apples, there's brown sugar, there's cinnamon, oh you didn't see that, there's cinnamon and maybe a pinch of nutmeg. All right. Uh-oh. Shucks. Here we go. Now I'm working with small delicious apples. The recipe calls for Granny Smith, but I don't really like cooking with Granny Smith that much. They tend to get soggy, and if I have my preferences, I would be using a, uh, a, a bright red pink lady or a honey crisp apple. But today, I'm working with delicious, and we'll hope that that's how this dish comes out. 
delicious. The recipe is actually, it calls for eight uh, apples, but since, and that's for like six to eight servings, but since I'm only making enough for me, then I had to cut the ingredients down exponentially. Now that I have the apples done, what I want to do is first, I think I'll add in, there's a tablespoon of water in this cup. And since I can't handle a tablespoon very well, that's why I'm using the cup. Uh -oh. Just take my time, put that in there. Okay. brown sugar. It would really be nice if I could find measuring cups with really long handles. Now this one, let's see, because the handle is so short, I am really taking a chance. I don't want to drop this on TV. Let's see, how am I going to do that? We'll just do it like that. All right. Set this down. Let's put in the cinnamon. Now for the nutmeg. Is it coming out? There we go. All right. Okay. Get that tight on there. You can peel the apples if you like. I left the peels on. Let's get this one out of the way. I'm going to mix these all in. are just going to cook slowly here while I do the French toast. All right. Okay. Now, most recipes, they
they call for you, uh oh, they call for you to, um, to add milk and sugar to the egg once you get it broken and separate it from the shell, which is what I'm doing right now. Milk and sugar and other things, maybe cinnamon, nutmeg, and that comes out quite nicely. Let me just put this right over here. Oh, I have a couple pieces of shell I need to get out of there. Okay, so they tell you to, they tell you to add milk and sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg, but um, I'm gonna take a shortcut. Um, what I do, and you know, I'm only using one egg, and I'm using one of my uh, patented uh, plastic dishes that I use around just the right size for bread. What I do is I use a flavored creamer. Let's see what flavor it is. Salted caramel chocolate. Sounds good. And I don't have to add sugar and pretty much anything else. Now this is a full bottle. I have trouble with full bottles. So let's be very careful so I don't pour too much because my wrists give way. And we're gonna make sure that we just pour like maybe that should do it. Put that top on. Make sure you can't read the label. All right. Just stir this around in the egg. Mix it in really well. Okay, so you don't want you don't want uh, chunks of yolk to come in on your French toast. All right, that looks good. Can you see that? I'm gonna uh, point it out. There you go. And. While that's doing that, let's add a little bit of cinnamon in here. There, that should do it. Now, when you're cooking, when you're doing pastries or anything like this, you have to remember that nutmeg is a stronger spice than cinnamon. So it's usually on a one to four ratio that you use them. So you saw me shake that, uh, Three and a half to four times. So, is it coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. There you go. Just one turn or one shake with the nutmeg. All right. And I stir that in there. All right. So we have that done. And we're about to add. The bread and then start it in the pan. We're going to move this butter around. Okay, get it spread out all over. Okay, 
I don't know if you can see me doing this. There, now you can see. Now you can see even better. Okay, let's turn this over. Push that down in there like that. up for one more. Okay. Just move this around in here. Okay, welcome back. I bet you did not know that French toast did not originate in France. Actually, it came from ancient Rome. And another name for it is uh, Spanish bread. Some people call it Aigui bread. And in France, it's actually called pain perdu, which means lost bread. It was developed to find a way to uh, utilize bread that has been uh, old for a few days. It's stale. And that's so you don't waste food. And that's a good thing. All right? Now, this is a very decadent dish. Rich and full of sweets and things like that. A lot of calories. So I'm not going to go into the nutritional values today. All right? Now, let's get back to that demonstration. And as you can see, I've been going through this and it's almost gone. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so while we were away, I, I, for, I had forgotten to turn the ham on, so I did that while we were away. And this is one of the rare meals that I prepare. Actually, I've never prepared the apples before. Uh, but this is one of the rare times that I cook with more than two burners going at once. So, um, what I'm going to do now is dish up everything. Okay. Let's see. I think I'll just use a spatula because that would be faster. The spatula is faster. All right. so that I can put the apples right on top. There we go. And I won't have to cut them later. Okay. All right. Now let's put everything back together because they came apart. Just going to put them right on top of the French toast. There we go. That looks good. Nice. See the syrup from the sauce I made. We have a couple in here that are being. 
obstinate about coming out of the pan. There we go. And now for the ham. way in the back. Now I didn't cook the ham, all I did was warm it up because all you want to do is wake it up. Yeah, I got it all. All you want to do is wake it up because it's already cooked. And if you cook it more, then it just dries out. All right? Let's put this up here on the table. There we go. Can you see this? Right there? There we go. Wow, it's starting to slide down the plate. That looks good. And now I'm back where I started. But how is that so? I ate the entire dish during the demonstration, but here it is back in front of me again. Well, that's a good thing, because then I get to eat the whole thing all over. But aside from that, I guess that's the trouble with time travel. You know what? I want to give a shout out to you veterans. Thanks for watching, and especially you veterans who are making your way back. Okay? Um, I want to thank everybody for watching uh, Kitchen Independence this time with the French Toast episode. Uh, until next time, I'm still David Doc Robertson, and as Brad Pye Jr. used to say, that's all of my time, thanks for your time, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but next time. Oh boy, I guess here I go again.